In 2005, physicists at the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider, RIC, announced the discovery of a perfect liquid of quarks and gluons. Since then, scientists have been taking a closer look at this hot soup. One group has been looking back in time to the earliest point in the collisions to measure the temperature by looking at the color of light emitted. Think of looking at a glowing iron rod. As the temperature gets hotter, the glow moves from red to yellow and then white. At RIC, measurements beyond the visible spectrum reveal that the temperature reaches 4 trillion degrees. hot enough to free quarks and gluons from their individual protons and neutrons. Another group of scientists has been investigating a separation of charges observed at RIC. Because the colliding ions are themselves moving charges, they induce a magnetic field. This magnetic field and vortices formed within the quark-gluon matter lead positively charged quarks to move preferentially in one direction and negative ones in the other due to the existence of different symmetry properties within these vortices. This asymmetry at RIC may help scientists understand a similar violation of symmetry in the early universe that resulted in the predominance of matter over antimatter in our world.